On today's episode, I'm heading to court to find out the outcome of a car accident that was involved in more than three years ago. So I'm back home after a few hours at court and I've shared this, the story of this accident a few episodes ago so I'll link it here if you're not aware of the story. Basically around three years ago I was involved in a car accident with uh, our family car and uh, a motorcycle who kind of rode on the sidelines and crashed into us. For a lot of time I thought it wasn't my fault, it turned out it was kind of a split, uh, split responsibility but since he was injured pretty badly. Um, they kind of the state kind of sued me and today was uh, the final outcome of that and so the outcome is that uh, I won't be able to drive for six months which is not a huge deal for me since I mainly ride my bicycle and it's just my, my wife has a car I don't usually drive uh, I also have to pay something like four hundred dollars which is not crazy amount but the most critical thing is that I'm gonna have to do 150 hours of community service um, which I will actually be doing volunteering for kind of a charity organization here in Israel. Um, I'll be doing their design, their marketing, and so that's also, I guess, a good outcome because I'll be able to use my skill and knowledge to at least do something uh, for the good, I guess, and hopefully it will also be kind of an interesting uh, case studies here for the vlog because I'll be able to share uh, what I'm doing for them. So. Overall, I want to share with you kind of what are my takeaways from this because I guess it would be the easiest to say to you that what I learned is to drive safer but that's I guess easier said than done because basically I think that I did everything right and it's just that I didn't look to the right, I, I mean I could have, I missed it, it was just bad bad scenario to happen but I think it can happen to anybody I and mean, it can definitely happen again you know, no matter how I try to be careful, you know, things like this happen. And it's not like I, I don't know, I texted while driving or I was drinking or did something irresponsible. I was just, it was just a slight second that probably maybe, I don't know if this could, uh, you know, at least he didn't die or anything like that. Anyway, but here's my biggest takeaway. This court has been like, this trial has been going on for like almost three years. And right when it happened and I got the, the kind of the court thingy, I, I asked around my friends if they know a good lawyer for this type of a car accident thing. And one of them gave me a recommendation, which is actually a mother of a mutual friend of us. And so I approached her and she was like, oh, you're a friend of my son, let me help you. This will also be super, super cheap for you. Uh, something like $700 for a case like this, which takes three years. So it's like ridiculously unprofitable on their end. But the thing is that even though I, I kind of I appreciate her efforts, but um, and I know that she's a mother of a really good friend of mine, um, I ended up not being very happy with the service I got. And I think my, my personal feeling is that you know when you are when you're not paying somebody when when you're supposed to get a service from them. Um, then you're always at the lowest priority of people like like high paying customers. I know it, it's my in my case, you know, uh, when I'm doing client work and I have my, my, my top clients who are paying me a lot of money and there those are the important uh, customers and I'm also doing a small favor to somebody who I'm just doing this as a favor to them, they'll always be the last uh, priority. And I think that I wasn't careful enough to try to explain and say up front, look, I don't care. I want to pay you whatever you deserve. I want this to be profitable for you, but I want you to really care and do your best about this. And I don't want to feel like a last priority uh, on this case. And so I should have said this. I didn't say this. I don't know if I was worried about like paying too much for a lawyer, but if I would do this again, I would do two things differently. First one, I would like say up front, I want to pay you with the best customers pays you, but I want to get the best service. I don't want to be like treated as the worst customer. And also I would double check uh, what they call like <laughs> getting a second opinion because I really think that I got 
off pretty badly considered to the whole situation and the responsibility of the other party. I, I think that I could have got off much easier if I had a better lawyer. And so next time I'm definitely next time, hopefully there won't be any next time, but you know, life is long and things could happen. But if, if I can also share with you uh, what I'm learning is that always get a second opinion from somebody else and always you know, don't try to save up money on the uh, on the important things. You know, I, I was once heard a sentence that was, if you don't have a, a lot of money, go for the best, because you can't afford to to get bad service. And I feel like that was the case uh, in in this specific case. Anyway, I'm happy that it's over. It's been like dragging on for so long. It's behind me, I'm gonna get over it, do what I have to do and just continue with my life. Next year is gonna be intense because I'm gonna have this uh, charity client on top of my normal paying client, but I'm not worried, I'm gonna hustle and I'm gonna do it uh, well. All right, I got three more client meetings tonight. One of them, most important one is at night. It's for the web designer that I have to uh, present. I've prepared two versions of the website yesterday. I have to present it and find out what the client's like tonight, 8.30 p.m. I hope I won't be dead tired. Let's fast forward to that. Oh, yes! The client loved the option that I liked, the option with the 3D that we did the rendering ourselves. I was actually so nervous, I thought that they're not gonna like both options and I was kind of preparing myself for the worst, but they did like our final version of the 3D. I'm so happy about this. Hope the website will um, come up really soon and I'll be able to share this with you. This is a really interesting uh, case study to be done. Anyway, I'm super tired, heading to my kids to bed. Hope you guys have a great day. Not catch tomorrow.